Hey peeps, how are you today? Welcome back to the East Corner. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and notification bell. And make sure you turn that red button gray because the tea is so hot, y'all. It is spilling. We're spilling some hot tea. And if you do not keep up with the latest videos or if we do not post a video right away, we're also discussing the topic on these Corner. So make sure you follow me on these Corner on Twitter and getting all the tea. And also make sure you have your input ready because we're ready to talk. And if you leave a comment on my last video, you're going to get a shout out and follow us on Instagram because we do have Instagram where we post before we actually make a video. So if we want all the exclusive sneak peek, then go to Instagram. Now, the era has a brand out called Larve. I actually posted the live video where it heard Sup Poppy and also Queen Naja. Everybody, you know, showed up at her event. I think Summerella was at her event. It's really good to see that Queen Naja in the air because everybody thought or everybody don't know or maybe thought that they had some type of intentions towards each other about a while back. So I guess they made up and I love when people support. So this is what went on at the event. I say before I actually show what went on at the event, I just love how everything was well displayed. Okay, the era is one bow girl. Okay, let's just say that because I will not be having those type of animals like snakes around me. But I think that is the mascot, you know, for the event. Um, because on her PR box it has snakes on it. Yeah, y'all y'all different. <laughs> So, as you can see, this is the PR box that the Eras line, Lorve, once you get the PR box, you know, PR boxes is like, you're on their PR list, you work hard, or you just don't want to wear clothes, you get majority of everything for free that comes in with the brand itself, because I've had my experiences with some PR boxes, not by the Era, but, you know, just with other brands, and it's very cool, but you guys, let's just say this, these are the glasses, I think the latte ones would be my type of go-to, if I was a fan of like, I mean, did I say lashes? <laughs> Glasses, okay? <laughs> Lee, Tweezy gets mad when people bring up DDG. Char X DDG about Elon Musk. I just and, I'm not going to keep pressing him. Tweezy said he kind of listened to it when it appeared on the shade room, room, but I'm not he didn't really like, yes, the, the, the song, because like a lot of people, some of guys, I guess, feel like, you know, the LA crew, everybody, yes, them a lot, so that's why he didn't, you know, feed into the whole thing, but DDG went live. And he was live with. That got me fucked up. You know my shit, Chark. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me, bro. Stop fucking talking to me, man. That got me fucked live with a uh, baby rich it's just a rapper and he was kind of like tricking baby rich a little bit he was talking about how he get his nails manicured i mean pedicure well manicured and men do that sometimes really I, I still don't think that's attractive to me like i understand clean nails is good like clean nails when you wash your hands every day type clean nails but having nail polish i don't think mm -mm. but yeah so he tricked him there was some orange nail polish 
that popped up and he was like I do one side orange and then the other side is like clear you know that's some but I know Sammy the singer gets his nails done and designs everything so I don't know about all that but they still be handsome but I just don't know about all that so this is what the live went on and said yeah yeah, that's the last thing you want you know I had to to wait at least five years for I spent my scam money no like I didn't hit for it like I got nothing for cash and everything but like no, I got the orange. I got the orange, Richard. That's all. Yeah. So you got, you got one hand clear and the other hand orange. Yeah, I try to switch it up. No, you different, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. You really inspirational, dog. Like, like really be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, people don't, people ain't moving how you moving. That's why you be doing it on, bro. That's why, like, bro, that's crazy. Yeah. I love that shit. As you guys can see, Hallie's uh, Instagram story, she has an orange nail, so it was actually Hallie in the album to Coachella this weekend. Coachella, it's a big music festival that hosts in LA, and you guys don't know, a lot of people go out there, a lot of people get mansions. If you got it like that, and just be out in Coachella chilling and vibing. Usually around the time about Easter and up to the end of April, so that's when it usually goes around. And yeah, it's just like a big, huge music festival. I know Doja Cat was there and everything. So yeah, Hallie went and they all went and had a very good time. So that's cool. I'm glad that they had a cool time at Coachella because I want to go one year, but I have to really like know who's there for me to go. I'm just not going to go and hear the whole thing. Like, I just want to know what artist is there. And I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should say because I think those are good price of tickets if I'm not mistaken but hey you know Coachella is a vibe everybody goes there so let me know if you've been to Coachella and there's those orange nails again y'all Queen Naja actually tweeted out and said I was so skinny here dang I wish I had that body goals because girl you was perfect okay literally like if you're certain size I mean, all sizes are perfect, but if you get that image, that image, that image, don't even bother it, like, for real. Now, Queen, I don't know why she got this BBL done, you know, I don't know why, but this person said, you were so perfect, girl. You gotta let people know before they were perfect, just like what Lil' Kim did to her whole image. She was so, like, no homo, but she was so beautiful in the 90s. No lie, Kim was everything in the 90s. I don't know why she saw that, why she thought that. Like, Michael Jackson, he was so handsome before he got all that stuff done. Like, people got to realize, like, you may have your insecurities and what you may think about it 100%, but they need to relook at themselves. And then she said, I know I should have just got my tummy tuck and kept pushing. And then she said, I just had to be extra. It's fine. I'm th- I'm still happy. <sighs> yeah, you should have just, you know. Uh, don't even really bother your body that much unless you really need your body uplifted. Like, if you got extra skin, if you go through a weight loss, that's definitely understandable. But this person said, this person said, is there any way to undo a BBL? Maybe have them remove some of the displaced fat? Uh, I'm not in the medical field, but I'm pretty sure you possibly can. But just don't touch your bodies, okay? If you're going to regret it, just like you're getting all the millions of tattoos on your bodies. And when you get older, don't touch your body. That is it for today's video. If I do have some more tea, I'm going to make another one, of course. And don't forget to check out our social media so you may see some more tea on there. And I got to go and I'll chat with you soon. Later. Bye, guys.